Hi everyone, I'm Zephyr, and welcome to the 8th and final installment of my After Effects Beginner Tutorial Series. In this video I'm going to be doing some RAM previewing and how to render your project. So let's get started. First of all you want to open After Effects and choose any kind of video file. I'm just going to import a random video file, uh, just some footage that I have from probably six months ago and drag it from the import box down to the composition and move forward in the video until there's actually some footage. Now first of all I want to show you what is called a RAM preview and basically this allows you to see the video in real time. If I were to play the video right now it might be a little bit slow. Uh, it plays fairly well because it's already a video but if you create your own thing it might play a little bit slow. So what you want to do is do a RAM preview. So what you do is go up to this button right here. Uh, this window might be somewhere else but generally it'll be right there and you just click this button. As you see here this green bar is getting bigger. What this means is that it is basically rendering this to your RAM and what that means is they'll play smoothly once you want it to so now that we've done a little bit of a RAM preview, you can see that it now plays a lot more smoothly. It's like a video player. So this is exactly what we want. If we were making a video and putting effects, we would definitely need to use this feature in order to see what it looks like running smoothly. So now that I've demonstrated the basic function of a RAM preview, I want to teach you a couple extra tips that you can use. The first is that there is a shortcut key for it, and that is pressing 0 on the numpad. It doesn't work if you just press the 0 uh, on the numbers on top. It needs to be on the numpad. And if you press 1, it'll do only a audio RAM preview. And what that means is that it'll just play the audio for that track. So that's very useful if you're working with audio and you want to see what it sounds like with different effects that you add to it. So you can use these two uh, shortcut keys to really speed up the process and I've used them immensely. Now a couple of things that you want to keep in mind is this button for example. If you're having a hard time rendering it because you added a big effect to the video it might be very slow to do the RAM preview and in fact earlier my computer was having trouble recording this video and uh, doing a RAM preview at the same time. It kind of crashed After Effects a little bit. So you definitely will want to turn it down to maybe half, a third, or even a quarter resolution. If you don't need the details in order for it to work, then this can work uh, very well for you. If you added a color correction, for example, to this footage, it would be a lot harder to do the RAM preview in a smooth fashion, and in that case I would turn it down to quarter resolution. If you want to see the de details, you can always put it up to full again. So that's a couple tips for making it faster and smoother. But now another thing to keep in mind is this bar right here. You can select it on the side and move it around from both sides. And what this does is it tells the RAM preview where to start. So if I were to start it again, it would start from there. And that's exactly what I want. If I move it around, I can start it from anywhere else. And this applies to rendering as well. When you want to render your video and create a video, this will be what it renders. So keep that in mind. Uh, make sure that you render with the full thing selected unless you want only a certain part. So now that we've seen how to use the RAM preview option, I'd like to show you a little bit about rendering. And rendering honestly isn't too difficult of a task depending on what you're trying to do. For me, it's very simple. I already know what I need to click on for my videos. So I'll just show you what I do when I want to render my videos. I go up to uh, Composition and click Add to Render Queue. Now we've got this Render Queue item. So this is the composition that we talked about. This is a box, a checkbox to say yes we want to render it or no we don't. I'll keep it on yes. And what you want to do is click on lossless right here and this will allow us to change the options for example I for some reason render it into WMV or Windows Media Format 
I don't know why others have advised against it, but it works for me. So that's what I do. I go to Format Options and make sure everything's on the highest quality here. And then I click the Audio Output checkbox so that it does audio as well. And I've noticed that this option is very low quality. So I usually do to 9.2 lossless and put this to the highest quality and that will keep the audio sounding good. And I click OK and maybe I change the name. This is a complicated name so I'll, I'd probably change that. And then I click render and I just wait it out. It takes a while to render. It's not a very slow, it's not a very fast process. So you definitely want to have something else to do while it's rendering. So as you can see, RAM Preview is a very easy feature to use, and rendering is really quite straightforward. It can uh, be complicated sometimes if you need to do a specific format. Um, you can go online and ask questions, maybe ask me, and I can look into it for you if you have specific questions. But the overall process is pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of patience to wait for it to render, and you'll be fine. So I hope this uh, tutorial series has worked out for you guys. I hope it's helped you to learn a little bit more about After Effects. And if any of your friends are interested in learning After Effects as well, I'd encourage you to tell them about this tutorial series. I noticed that there's a lack of comprehensive, long tutorials that really take you through all the basics of After Effects. And that's what, it, what I um, aim to do in this video series. So I, hoped, I hope that helped you guys. Alright, thank you very much for watching my videos. Subscribe if you enjoy them and please leave it a like if you enjoyed it.